The average LEGO policeman looks like so. He has a casual torso and no printed legs, but special forces like SWAT are way more interesting because of their superior gear and weapons. SWAT stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. These guys are part of the police and get called whenever a situation requires special forces. Since LEGO never made and probably won't release any SWAT figures in the near future, I've decided to make my own. The base of my minifigures is simple but effective. I've decided to use a black torso as well as these two dual molded dark blue legs, dark blue arms and these black hands work as gloves. After repeating the step 6 more times I have a total of 7 bodies. This is where the fun begins. I've grabbed a box full of weapons, helmets and other gear. I definitely can recommend these boxes for either the sorting the lego pieces or minifigures and other gear. As we want to create a SWAT unit I've grabbed my box with all the modern minifigures, helmets, these vests and a lot of weapons. If you are wondering where to get all of this stuff, a company called Brick Arms produced them. But let's focus on our SWAT units. At first I grabbed this shield, a bunch of vests, as well as two backpacks. All we need now to build a complete minifigure are these hats, as well as these helmets. So let's grab them real quick. To achieve the extra detail on our figures, I use these minifig cat goggles and add them to the modern combat helmets. Everything is set up and I can't wait to build our figures. Let's grab the first body. The first tactical vest I use has a lot of small pouches. The balaclava head, which is just perfect for SWAT units, is made by Citizen Brick. And to finalize our minifigure, I've added this Brick Arms Modern Combat Helmet as well as the minifig head goggles. Let's repeat the step 6 more times and use a variety of tactical vests. One important part is still missing and you probably can guess it. Yes, the weapons. I've decided to use two of these M4 assault rifle variants. The next three weapons are a sniper 50 cal as well as a shotgun and a colt. And the last two versions are smaller tactical versions of the M4 rifle. Here you can see all weapons I just took out of the box. Everything is prepared, so let's add our shield, weapons and backpacks to our SWAT unit. And here you can see my SWAT unit, which is a huge improvement if you compare it to a regular LEGO policeman in my opinion. All minifigures are done, but just as LEGO would do, I have to build a vehicle for them. The police cars LEGO has made are once again pretty basic and boring. And here's where I need my own Humvee instructions. You can purchase these by the way at Rebuckable.com, you can find the link in the description down below. To fit the style of the figures, I've built this model in black instead of tan. The model is built in 1 to 45th scale to fit perfectly the size of a minifigure. The vehicle and minifigures are done, so let's build a cool diorama at this 38 by 32 studs wide surface. My first step was to build a road by using a wide selection of round plates and tiles. The base color of the road was light bluish gray, but I've also added some green, medium nougat and dark bluish gray parts to add some variety. To achieve a smooth and clean transition between the road and the green part, I've used these green curved plates. Once the road was finished, I've placed my freshly made Humvee on it. To add some height, I've decided to extend the green part next to the road. Because I had to know where to finish the road, I've marked down the outlines of the house. Now it was time to finish the road and continue with the green area. To give you a better idea how the raid will look like, I've decided to add the first two operators to the build. I wanted to give the building a used look and here you can see how I've made the first corner. Now it's time to raise the wall by using 1x2 bricks and other modified pieces. After finalizing the road as well as the green area next to the building, I was finally able to add even more of the SWAT members to the build.
As you can see, the guy with the M4 just takes cover behind the shield. The SWAT team is ready to raid the building. Now it's time to continue with the other side of the green area and I already have some cool plans for it. After bringing everything to the same level, I was able to add this cool fence by using some interesting pieces. And here's what I've talked about earlier in the video. After adding even more green slopes, tiles, plates and grass pieces, I was able to create some smooth transitions. After finishing the overall groundwork, it was time to build the cornfield. I've created this by using the brown bar pieces with the stud on the bottom and after that I've added these Technic pins in tan. Since I'm a big fan of my door design, I wanted to give you guys the possibility to build it as well, so here's a step-by-step -step instruction on how to make it. Now it's time to actually build the complete house. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted to create the used look of the walls. And here's how I want to achieve the look. I use a lot of medium nougat pieces to make the walls look weathered. To make the look of the building as interesting as possible, I've decided to end up the design by using these 2x2 light brush grey tiles as well as this wedged piece. The house is nearly done, there's just one more step to make. I've built a simple roof by using some bigger plates and tiles and some smaller plates to achieve again a weathered look. To end up the design just a handrail had to be made and I've designed this by using some plates and tiles once again. The mock is nearly done by now, I just have to finish this green area right here, so let's watch this satisfying time-lapse video real quick. As you just could see, we finished the base, so now it's time to make some final details. We still had to include the sniper and I've created something special for him. He takes cover behind the stacked logs. To make the green area look some more interesting, I've added some dark bluish grey pieces as well as a lot of wedge plates and grass pieces. And here's the last building sequence before we take a closer look at the final mock. So that's it for the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching, see you next time.